Hey Ross World, my money makes money. Do you ever get tired of someone referring to you or group that you're in or ethnic culture that you're in and say we are survivors? Well, I'm tired of being a fucking survivor. Excuse my language or don't excuse it. I'm tired of being a fucking survivor. I want to be a successor. I want to be an achiever. I want to be an owner. I want to be something of substantial. Think about it like this. You have all these people. Take, for instance, Mark Zuckerberg, right? I don't know when he got his first million, let alone his first billion. But nevertheless, I'm older than the guy, but the guy's umpteenth time richer than I am based upon a software idea that he did with a couple of friends. Blah, blah, blah. Read up on the story if you want. The point I'm making here is he's filthy rich. He's filthy rich, okay? And the ideas we have, the ideas we have, we don't take action is because we're survivors. We have a survivor's mindset. Break that. Break that chain. Break that link. Oh, I'm doing really good for myself. You know, when I grew up, I grew up poor. I grew in the ghetto. Okay, me too. We all got the same fucking story because of where we came from. Okay? And it really doesn't matter what color. We all went through some trials and tribulations. But stop being a survivor and stop patting your damn self on the back to my, yeah, man, I remember when I was homeless. Okay, me too. Me and my mom was homeless. And stop being a fucking survivor. Okay, be a successor. Be an achiever. Be a winner. All I do is win. I mean, come on. Put these things in your mind and use that survivor as a base. Not as the pinnacle. Not as the plateau. Don't use it like you made it. Because guess what? Are you filthy rich? Can you decide not to go into work today? Or the week or the month? Because they can. Rich people can. They say, well, you know, if I don't work today, I may lose or I may even gain more because then I'll have to pay myself. It's crazy how they make money. You, you get what I'm trying to say? It's crazy how they make money. So stop being a survivor and do something better for yourself. Okay, you know the previous video I did about, about having a side hustle. Now, granted, you've came a long way. You've done a lot of things to be where you are now. Don't you still have breath in your lungs? Don't you still have life in your body? Aren't you still walking around? If you can walk around, you still have a quarter or a third of your mindset, you can be an achiever. OK, you you make small goals and you achieve them for greatness. And I'm just telling you this because I heard a motivational speaker talk to a school and his message was 100 percent positive. But it was one thing that he had spoke and like we are survivors. We've been through this and we've been through that. We're survivors. And I understood his message and I took his message in love. But the one thing is like I'm tired of being a survivor. When do I become more? Yes, we survive a lot of things in life, people as a whole. But when do we become achievers, winners, entrepreneurs, millionaires? Because millionaires is what? Only what? 1% of our population? That means that the other 99% are high class and middle class and low class and poor as hell. So it baffles me. Why can't we increase that number to three and five percent of millionaires? Me and you, you and yours setting up your kids for it. So stop having the mindset of being a fucking survivor. Be something more than a survivor. Use your story to springboard you to something greater that you never thought. Get to the point. Get to the point. And I'm pretty sure I talked to some. Talk, I can't even call them friends, some associates, that the hardest thing when they became entrepreneurs, the hardest thing is when they sought to obtain wealth, they were scared. They were scared to take a chance. But I'm trying to set you up for success. Like I say, don't quit your day job. Don't quit your night job. Start a side hustle. Have the mindset of a winner, of an achiever, of a successor. See how far you can go before you reach the pinnacle, before you plateau. Because this is the thing, you'll never know until the day you stop. You'll never know until the day you start and you don't stop. And you'll never know until the day that you die, then it wouldn't even matter.
but you should strive more than just being a fucking survivor. Survivor? Go on a show and lose weight, but don't bring that bullshit here. We're talking about greatness. We're talking about being scared, but taking a chance. Still having regular income. <laughs> Mama ain't raised no food. This is Ross World, where we're going to push ourselves a little bit harder, a little bit faster, a little bit stronger. And then we're going to dab out. We're going to dive out on. We're going to step out on a weak limb, on that weak ledge, and we're going to jump off. We're going to do something we never done before for greatness. Understand the words that I'm speaking. I'm scared. I'm weary. But I'm going to take a chance. And so shall you. I'm out.